Hello everybody, my name is Darren Duke and I am the technical lead with Simplified Technology Solutions, also known as STS. And today I'm going to give a very, very fast demonstration of showing a IBM Lotus Notes client uh, being configured and set up and ran uh, completely independently of needing a password thanks to the new SAML stuff that IBM put in in 9 and 901. Uh, this came about because a couple of weeks ago at a conference at MW Look, someone stopped me in the corridor and said, hey, we've been trying to do this, but we can't get it to go completely passwordless. Is there a way? So there is a way. I'm probably not going to tell you the way because it's kind of in-depth and a long, long, long process. But what I'm going to show you is that it can actually be done. Uh, so if I just log on to this workstation, uh, this user has never uh, logged on to notes using this workstation before. Um, i got to remember the password. So if I log on, what we're going to see is we've got, a, we've got a couple of things going on in the background. I've put a shortcut to the local um, uh, local profile so you can see that the user has never logged on to Nuts before. There's no IBM profile in there, which is good. And so what we have in the background is uh, a customized Nuts any file with a customized config file um, that gets pushed down to the client. Some other mechanism. Um, using group policies, manage engines, desktop central, which is my favorite, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So what, what's going to happen is I'm going to click on notes. My notes 901 client is going to authenticate with a Domino 901 server. Uh, that's going to then uh, throw off the authentication back to uh, ADFS, which is my SAML provider running on Windows 2012. This can also work on 2012 R2 and 2008 R2. So if you've got them servers, you're good. But I just want to show the example. So if I just double click on the client, we're going to see it configure itself. I'm never going to have to put a password in, even though there is an ID, and I'll show you the ID in a second. The first time I do this, um, it's going to use what's called Notes Federated Login NFL, which is basically what SAML is called in Notes. And off it goes. So uh, it's going out to my server. It's making sure that all my credentials are right. And hopefully, fingers crossed, there we go. Boom. What's going to happen? No password prompt. And I want to point that out. Um, I am now connected to a server. My notes client is now fully configured. If I come into my mail, there's no mail on this one because this is not a, a real user. And more importantly, if I go out to my ID, uh, what we're going to see is I haven't turned on, I've only got NFL, not federated login on this one. So what you can see is it says my ID file is in memory. Right? So it's never stored on the machine. Now, you can store on the machine later on using notes shared login, but I don't want to get too, too far on that one. So if I close out of notes, um, and we hit OK, and now I look at my, I've now got my profile, and my profile is completely built out, and what you'll notice is there's no ID, at least for this one in here, because it's using Notes Federated Login only, so the ID is in memory, so no ID is ever stored on the machine. So there you go, it can be done. Completely set up Notes, client, so you, 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 your IT people don't have to touch the desktop, a user can go to a new computer, or get a new laptop, double click on Notes, boom, everything gets configured for you automatically. Again, I'm not going to show you how to do this because it's very, very in-depth. There's a couple of presentations out there on the web, uh, specifically from the Lotus Sphere, um, to, if, you, if you want to go and look at them. Um, that's kind of only half a story. The other half a story is getting it to go completely passwordless at the beginning, which is uh, not difficult, but not easy to do the first time. If you've got any questions or you need some help on this, uh, feel free to contact Lisa Duke. That's lisa.duke at simplified-tech.com. And she will set up one of our technical folks to have a chat with you. And if you need help with a project, we are there to help. But again, you've just seen it all in action. Hopefully that uh, answers quite a few questions. Again, my name is Darren Duke. Thank you very much.